Hello guys, now I'm going to talk about why Sigma Delta Converters are so popular in the world and why is everybody going crazy about them. So this is a Sigma Delta Converter. You have an input signal and you subtract the output signal from it. You integrate it. It goes to an ADC. The f there comes the quantization noise in it and then you have the output. So writing this block diagram in an equation you get y of t is equal to x of t minus y of t dt plus q of t we take it in the laplace domain and we solve it and this is what we end up with y of s is equal to x of s over 1 plus s plus s over 1 plus s into q of s now there are two parts here one of them is the signal while the other is the noise or the quantization noise so we can derive two transfer functions here one of them is signal transfer function and the second one is noise transfer function the signal transfer function has a 1 plus s in it which means that there is a low pass filter over there and as a signal lies in the lower frequencies it's not a problem then we look at the noise transfer function and that's s over 1 plus s that's a high pass filter and this is where it gets interesting what it does is that it pushes the noise out of the lower frequencies and this is what is called noise shaping and this is what makes sigma delta converter so unique here you can see in this image what one expects to get out of it but that's not the end of it there are other benefits of sigma delta converter and that comes with oversampling over here in a simple ADC doubling the sampling rate gets us an increase in the signal to noise ratio signal to quantization noise ratio of 3 dB over here in sigma delta converter this gain is 9 dB I will do the math some other day but this means that we can get a higher number of effective bits in a sigma delta converter for a similar oversampling rate as that of a simple ADC I hope this explains a lot thanks for watching bye